Hello my sweet friends a very warm welcome to my art channel and it's your host Shurma here Now this being the month of February I thought it would be fun to create some pink roses on a note card So let's learn how to paint them I am excited to share the process with you and let's paint along together so here is the list of supplies which I would be using for today's project. Let's begin with chapter 1 that is planning the elements of the note card. The first element is a side folding white card base and it is around 4 inches by 6 inches in size. The second one is a pink patterned paper which is around 3.9 by 5.9 inches in size. The third element is a piece of white watercolor paper and it is the same size as that of the pink patterned paper. Next comes a piece of white cardstock which is embossed and it is around 3.5 inches by 4 inches in size. Lastly, there are two heart pieces. One is pink patterned paper and the other one is from the white embossed paper well now I would be working with the white watercolor paper that leads us to chapter 2 that is painting the pink roses with acrylic colors I bring in an acrylic sheet on my workspace and this is a little bottle of liquid watercolor that is pink in color and I'm just spreading it on the acrylic piece spraying with water next I bring in the white watercolor piece of paper and I lay it over the acrylic rub in the colors and slowly remove it from the acrylic just to reveal this awesome background I can go ahead and add more color if I need and I drain away the excess water and let it dry. Next, I bring in the palette for the roses. These are acrylic colors, permanent rose, deep magenta and pink and a dash of white acrylic. This is a flat brush number 5 and I'm loading it with permanent rose, white and pink. So this is three colors on the same flat brush number five. I'm blending the colors well. This will help me to get awesome results once I begin to paint. I might be using a couple of other brushes as well like this is a liner brush and a number zero brush and this is a number four flat. All right. So here I've brought in my number 4 flat brush with pink on it and I'm trying to create a very loose form of the rose. Next I bring in some deep magenta just to lay the ground for the rose. At this point I bring in my flat brush number 5 and it is loaded with white permanent rose and pink and I begin to paint the topmost petals of the rose. The technique which I am using here is a decorative stroke art technique wherein I am using more than two colors mostly on a flat brush and I'm trying to create the petals with all the three colors well blended on the brush. Now this helps me to achieve two things. Firstly, a beautiful blend and highlights at the same time. Isn't that interesting? Now because I'm using acrylic colors here, they tend to dry off. So here I bring in a little bowl of acrylic retarder solution. I go ahead and dip the flat brush into the retarder solution whenever I need to do so. 
and that helps to keep the acrylic paint runny. Essentially, make it thinner so that it keeps moving for a longer period of time. And I can do my adjustments along the way. By the way, pink roses are my all-time favorite and I guess just the right color for the month of February. Pink roses symbolize gratitude and admiration and they are the perfect choice for the people you appreciate the most, like your friends, siblings and teachers. Also, February is the month which is dedicated to and all about love, right? This is the month and time that all of us make efforts to spread love, embrace each other so that the world is a better place tomorrow than today. I created another such rose which is very similar to the first one. So once the two roses are done, let's move on to the third chapter that is painting the leaves. So here comes the palette for the leaves. I will be using three brushes, number four, a number five and a liner. And the colors on the palette are deep green, bamboo green, sap green, white acrylic and yellow acrylic. I go ahead and pick up some deep green and bamboo green on my flat brush number six and I also add a bit of white to it. So that is again three colors on the same flat brush. I blend them well and you can see the white next to the bamboo green and that's really awesome in real life. Before I go on to paint the leaves, I bring in my liner brush and it is dipped in deep green and I'm creating some stems randomly. Here are some little leaves on the stems with deep green and white. Next, I bring in my flat brush number 6 and I have bamboo, white and deep green on it and I am trying to create some larger leaves. This is again with the help of decorative stroke art technique. And if you would like to know more about the technique, then do visit my past videos and I would be very happy to provide the links in the description box below. And if you happen to click on the i button on the right hand side corner of this particular screen, you would be able to reach the playlist which tells you about the basics of this particular technique. At times I have used sap green instead of deep green and that creates variations in the colors of the larger leaf. Next I go ahead and bring in my flat brush number four and I create some very light bamboo green leaves in order to fill in the blank spaces. Next I bring in my liner brush with deep green on it and I connect the leaves to the flowers. And also create some vines along the way. Some more details with green on a liner brush. Next, I bring in some yellow acrylic and white acrylic on my liner brush and I create some yellow flower clusters. And there you go, my rose panel is done. Well friends, now it's time to assemble the note card. 
So let's go through the elements once again. A side folding card base, a pink patterned paper, a white embossed paper, two hearts, painted panel as you see on the left I have cut it apart into various sections. This is how I put them all together. So dear friends what do you think? Isn't that a fun rose note card? That brings us to the end of today's session and I hope you enjoyed watching me create the pink roses on the note card. Do let me know in the comment box below and I would be very happy to hear from you. All your comments, your queries and whatever else you would like to ask are all very welcome. So please do not forget to write. Also, if you would like to connect with me on my social media handles, then it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. Dear friends, thank you so much for being with me till the end. I really appreciate your support, love and patience. Thanks a ton to each one of you and yes, do not forget to check out my other floral painting videos. They are fun as well. We'll be back very soon. Till then, stay tuned, take care of yourself and bye-bye.